All right, everybody, we're going to talk uh, in this video. Um, you guys have all received via email two different wall ball routines. Uh, our first one is a timed wall ball routine that we use when I was a college coach. Um, we time our guys. Uh, it's great for any player at any level. Uh, the other routine was what uh, we call the 300, which is 300 repetitions um, of different and varying stick work drills. Um, so when you're doing those, we want to make sure that we have great fundamentals, all right? Um, I'm going to start with grip, all right? I think it's very important that when you hold your, when you hold your stick, I'm going to come in close here. As you can see, I got my thumbs up the side, okay, of the shaft, all right? My thumbs are up. Some guys like to have the bottom hand thumb across or maybe slightly on top. That's fine, all right? But we want to really, when you're throwing and catching, we really want to see that top hand okay grip more up the side if you have a hard time getting into that position okay a little trick I learned recently was to take your index finger all right and you can put it up let's get it close enough here okay up the back of the shaft as so all right and that kind of forces your thumb into that position and then you can just slide your index finger back to that regular position we really like to see the hands all right work in that direction all right, with the thumbs, again, up the shaft. I'm going to come back in one more time from this angle so you can see I'm holding my stick. All right, so now, um, how far should your hands be apart? Everybody's a little different, all right? Generally speaking, you know, I feel like if you're, you know, a foot apart, maybe a little further, that's a good, that's a good spot to be when you're throwing the ball, all right? When you're receiving and catching the ball, all right, my rule of thumb is this, all right? We always start when we catch with our top hand, up near the plastic all right this is the easiest position to catch passes from all right and as you start to catch more passes if you, if you my, my joke with my kids is if you catch every pass you slide your hand down a little bit if you catch every pass you slide your hand down a little more the best players in the world typically play somewhere down in here with their normal grip but a lot of times again in traffic under pressure Okay, guys are on you. Okay, tight space. The, 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 the tendency is they like you see the hands slide up closer to the pl plastic. So again, uh, this would be where I'd start catching. And again, I'm down here somewhere, you know, 10, 12, 16 inches apart here. Okay, in a throwing motion. All right. Um, tape is great. I always tell people tape is a great. You know, I used it when I was young. I didn't really use it as much when I got to college. When I was younger, okay, having different places I wanted my hands, especially when I was practicing. Okay, putting some tape there as a reminder, okay, is a great thing for, uh, for young players. All right, so let's talk about throwing motion real quick, all right? So we're out here on my, uh, my chimney. All right, I'm going to back up a little and talk about throwing. So again, we like to see you guys, okay, I always remind people, we like to see the elbow, the elbows up, all right? Top hand should be at shoulder height or, or, or above. Um, as I get into this, there's really two kinds of throwing motions, I believe. All right, one is what I call a long arm motion, okay, where both of my arms have longer, have more length to them, all right, and I'm trying to actually have a longer arm through my throw, all right, and the other technique that I, I'll talk about in a second here is what I call shouldering, all right, some people call it collarbone position, I call it shouldering, you'll see a lot of Canadians play from this position, all right, so we're just going to talk about both of them, all right, so as I'm throwing the ball here, okay, I've got my, my, I got my long arms, all right, I'm trying to get my, my back shoulder up and my front shoulder down as I throw, okay? That forces, this motion here forces, all right, my, my, me to go overhand. It forces my stick to go up, all right? All right, I'm trying to keep my elbows up and long arms, okay? And your other throwing technique is what I call shouldering, all right? Shouldering is where you're actually, I'm gonna move in here a little bit, you're actually passing more from your shoulder. All right, you'll see a lot of Canadian players uh, play this way because that's a box thing. All right, stick comes closer to your ear, harder to check, easy to get foul. All right, and so you can work on actually when you're out here, you can work on, all right, throwing from your shoulder. All right, one motion here. Okay, I'll remind all of you, okay, when you're out here, when you're out here doing all of our wall ball stuff, a lot of the routines have different um, quick stick, no cradle, one cradle. We'd love to see you guys continually work on less cradling. Um, we'd like to see you catch it, one cradle throw, catch one cradle throw, catch one cradle throw. Some of you guys might be asking me, Coach, what's a cradle? Oh, that's a million dollar question, I guess. 
all right? When I talk about cradling, I talk about quiet bottom hand, all right, and top hand, all right, rotating the stick in this direction just as I'm standing here, okay? All right, that's a cradling motion to me. I and mean, there's a lot of different kinds of cradles. There's a one-handed cradle where you're here, okay, with a pole, it's a little bit different. But what I'd like to say right now, when you're on the wall and you're working, let's try to keep the hands up, let's keep the head of the stick up, let's minimize cradling motion. Like I said, one cradle, occasionally because it's a bad, you know, tough catch, you gotta bring it up back up, maybe two. Love to see you guys when you're on your own, working on not cradling at all. All right, just catching it. All right, just bringing it back to a throwing position. All right, without even trying to cradle. I still got to cradle it once in a while. All right. All right, so that's our real basic fundamentals here. Just for review, okay, grip, talking about thumbs up, okay, talking about trying to keep the elbows up, two kinds of throws, long arm and shouldering, okay, and then the final thing is you're catching. Remember, if you're catching every pass, we want to, excuse me, we want to start with our top hand as close to the plastic as we can. All right, if we're catching every pass, we can start to work our way down, 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 down. You start moving, um, excuse me, dropping the pat ball a little bit. We're gonna slide back up, okay? And we can always, the final thing with, with catching it, I, I didn't touch on this, was one technique that's not used enough is what we call shortening the hands. All right, that's actually bringing your bottom hand up, all right, to really shorten your hands to make it easier to catch. All right, but uh, anyway, hope everyone's doing well and safe. And uh, we will uh, we'll keep working. Our next video is coming soon. Everybody have a great day.